Hello, this is a pace setter training video. Nothing that is required, but this video is to give you a, a little tip on how to be a little bit more efficient in the way you look at numbers and the way you use numbers in your head and the way you write those down and type them on your keyboard when we are using claims management systems um, or estimating software such as Xactimate. And that is converting inches to decimals. If you want to stop here maybe real quick and, and maybe drag a box around this with your snipping tool in Windows and save that, you may want to print it out. If you're not familiar with the snipping tool, it's a tool in Windows that allows you to drag a box around anything on your screen and then save that as an image or print it to a PDF. If you don't know where that is, you can just go down to your taskbar at the bottom in your search field if you have that open or if you have the little icon with a magnifying glass that is searched. Just click on that, type in snipping or snip. Immediately you should see that app and then you can open it up and do a new snip. So what this is, is converting one to 11 inches each into a decimal. Again, here we won't go through all this right now, but you can see one inch is 0 0.08 in the form of decimals to 0.17, three, which obviously three inches would be one quarter of a foot that would be 0.25, um, four, basically four inches, about one third of a foot, three, three, point three, three. Um, we'll skip, you know, six inches is obviously half a foot, 0.5. So you see how this works. I highly recommend that you memorize this. It's not hard. Uh, it may take a little bit. Keep that little printout of that chart with you. Just kind of memorize it. And once you kind of get it memorized, you'll probably forever stick with this system and not go back to inches and feet, feet and inches. Um, and it's much quicker uh, in the way you convert this information and transfer it with keyboards in software. So if you look at the keyboard up here, kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And these decimals, the reason, one of the reasons why you switch to it is so that you can use the numpad on a keyboard. If your laptop keyboard doesn't have a numpad on it, you might want to consider buying a separate USB full-size keyboard. Very efficient. Uh, if your laptop does have the numpad on it, great. And if you'll notice the numpad, the way they're designed is they're set up like a calculator that an accountant or CPA would use. All of the uh, keys are stacked symmetrically on top of each other and side by side. You have all the keys you would need for calculating, such as the divide my, uh, multiply, minus, or subtract, rather, and adding, and then you also have a period key or decimal key. And then you have your enter key here. Uh, if you use here, it's much faster to type decimals this way, right? If you're typing over here, yes, you can. It's a little less efficient because Xactimate, for instance, does recognize commas as separators in feet and inches. So in other words, you could type in 12 comma three, and it understands that that's 12 foot three inches. However, to do that on this part of the keyboard, you would be typing 12, moving your hand down to the comma key, back up to three, and then enter. So you're moving your hand a lot around to type. And when we are estimating, as you probably already know, you're typing a lot of numbers often. So it's much, much more efficient to have your hand over here where you have all the information you need symmetrically and you can learn how to type, again, like an accountant types. It's very, very fast and quick. You can even use this in, let's say, exact analysis when you're typing a claim number in. You know, you don't have to use this area, uh, but certainly with calculations, um, longer numbers or repeated typing in numbers, it's much, much more efficient to use this. And to do this, it's easier to convert it into decimals because the numpad does not have a comma. So in other words, on the uh, keyboard here, if you type into Xactimate 10.5, it knows that that is 10 foot five inches, or rather 10 foot six inches, 0.5 feet. Otherwise, you would have to type in 10 up here, one zero comma, six. It's a little bit more cumbersome moving around here typing numbers. So again, just think about this. You may want to try it, see if it works for you. Let's go look briefly in Xactimate to kind of see how this works. So I have a little sketch here. 
And let's say we've kind of drawn this roof and we, we dropped this little gable in here and we want this gable, our actual measurement in the field that we wrote down with our pen. You might want to, again, you'll be doing this in the field that once you get the conversion chart and let's say you measured this uh, eave right here at 12 foot, eight inches, you would be writing that down in the field as 12.67. It's a lot less writing as well in the field. And that's what that conversion is. If it's 12 uh, foot, eight inches, that would be 12.67. So if we drew this and we dropped it in and we needed to get this at 12 foot, eight inches, we could just select this handle and sketch where we've activated this eave measurement and it turns blue. And now we can simply click on that measurement and on our number pad type, 12.67 enter all on the number pad and it will immediately change that and be 12 foot 8 inches same thing out here let's say you drew this very quickly and this was 35 foot 3 inches same thing we would just click on this um, part of the roof we would select this handle right here so we can activate this we want to get this blue so we can activate it and click on that number 35 point, what did I say? Three, three inches. So that would be 0.25. All on the number pad, 35.25, and then enter on the number pad. Much, much quicker to do this when we're sketching and typing numbers in here. Same thing can be said when we're estimating and we're in line items. Let's say we're in the gutters and we dropped our gutter line item in. I'll delete this real quick. We have our line item. Soffit Face and Gutter, G-U-T, and there's our number, and we know it's 165 feet, 9 inches. So that would be 165.75, enter. We're done. Much, much, much quicker when you learn how to use the number pad and do that inches to decimals conversion. Again, not required. This is just a little tip we wanted to let you know about. We'll have a couple of other videos out on these kinds of tips. Um, one other one to keep an eye out for is a Google Earth tracing trick for any kind of roof, but particularly more difficult roofs that you may not want to stay on because it's steep or high or a little bit dangerous. Uh, that's another great video that we'll show you as well. Hope you had a great day and thank you for uh, sticking with us here on this video and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.